Hello, everyone. Welcome to the APH Virtual Excel Academy. This is our last week in 2020. Then we'll see you in 2021. Today is Candy Canes and Canes Party with invited stars and tree guests. We are so happy to have you with us today. People are still coming in. So welcome to the APH Virtual Excel Academy. Today is the Candy Canes and Canes Party with invited stars and guests. You are welcome to say hi in the chat. We are glad to have you here. I'm seeing familiar names come join us. So I am going to let you know our special instructor today is Audrey Shading, and I am going to turn it over to her. It is all yours, Audrey. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Leah. I'm so excited. I've been so very excited about this and welcoming everybody as well. We are going to have a wonderful party today. We're going to have a blast. That means a good time, a really great time, because there are so many things planned. We have a game planned. Um, we might have a little song in there. Uh, we have lots of cool materials that we're going to use, including our own canes. So if you have a cane, you want to have it ready for later. Candy canes and pipe cleaners, which are so much fun to twist and bend, and they're so soft and fuzzy, and, and I, I love them. Uh, some clay or play dough or whatever you have. Um, and if you, a cookie cutter, if you don't have any of these things, it's okay because you can imagine. Imagination is the key. That's the most important thing you want to bring with you today. Switch it on, as, as Leanne says, uh, and uh, Robin say, switch on your imagination. Uh, I like that. I like that term. So we are going to also do something really cool at this party. We are going to be actors. And to be an actor, it's like being in a play. We're going to be actually different kinds of actors. We can be many, many things. Uh, our idea today is you can be a candy cane, you can be a tree. Oh, and if you're a candy cane, what kind of candy cane? You've got to think about that. We're going to talk more later. Mmm, because candy canes taste so yummy. You know, they only used to be peppermint and now they could be blueberry or apple or just Think a moment about what kind of candy cane you might be and how it would taste, how that candy cane would taste. Think a second. I'll give you a couple seconds to think about it. Mmm, I'm thinking of, a, of an apple candy cane. Oh, that's right. I have an apple and an orange also to, to uh, later on to use. Forgot those materials. Okay, so candy canes, we can be trees. And a tree is so wonderful. And there are so many kinds of trees. We can be little teeny trees. We can be big, tall trees with lots and lots of branches. We can be a tree covered with snow. We can be a Christmas tree. We can be any country you want. So you can think about that. Think about how a Christmas tree smells, a pine tree, or we call those evergreen trees or a spruce tree. Just thinking about that scent is so lovely. I can almost smell it right here. We can be stars. And again, you can think of what kind of star you want to be. You can be a big, big, big star shining everywhere, shining your light so brightly. You can be a tiny little star. You know that little song that actually Mozart wrote the melody to? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. I know I said where first and what. There are different versions of that. So either way, we can think of where is that star in the sky? And what is a star? So you can think of what kind of star you want to be. We can be angels and we can do wonderful things by being angels. We can have wings, we can have a halo on our head, we can be a, a, an angel that flies and, and what maybe you can, where would you go if you're an angel? Think about that. Maybe you would bring a present to somebody if you're an angel. You'd fly high in the sky. Maybe you would fly 
as high as your refrigerator and be a little angel and bring something to your parents. Or if you're in the classroom, you could fly as high as your desk and bring something to your teacher. So we have lots of things to do today and lots of things to be today. And that is really, really exciting. Well, uh, before we go on, I'm gonna ask Robin if there's any news in the chat box. Hello, Miss Audrey, this is Robin. And we have just been giving your descriptions about all of the different characters. So we talked about how you could be a candy cane, or you could be a tree, or a star, or an angel. So we've given those descriptions, and now I bet, Audrey, we can ask the students what character do they want to be? I think that is a great idea, and let's hear it in the chat box if you want to be a tree. For example, you can write the letter T. If you want to be a star, you can write the letter S. If you want to be an angel, you can write A. If you want to be a candy cane or your own cane, you can write the letter C. So let's see what we get. Everybody think carefully. There's so many good choices and they are coming through right now. So we have somebody that wants to be an S for Santa. We oh. have somebody else that would like to be a Christmas tree. And we have another person that would like to be a candy cane. Joy also said S for Santa. Audrey, we have a new character. We have yes. a Santa. That's true. That's wow. We didn't, I didn't even think about offering to be a Santa. And I'm glad, thank you, Santa. We could and then also our, our last one is we have somebody who wants to be a tree. So everybody is thinking of a great character that they would like to be. Well, that is so, so cool. Well, I think that in a few minutes, we're going to do some acting. But before we do that, I want to show you a few things. I have to get them, so give me a few seconds. I have first one thing, and it's an apple. It's just one apple. I only have one apple, and it's right in front of my nose. Okay, I'm going to put the apple away for a second. And you know, when I was a little girl, I got this in my stocking at Christmas. We're gonna talk about the holidays in a few minutes too, but Christmas is one of the holidays we'll talk about. And this is what I got in my stocking, an orange. And that was so cool to get an orange at the very, very bottom, the very, very tippy toe of my stocking, my Christmas stocking, I would reach in there and there would be an orange. And then in my stocking, there would also be, this, my candy cane. So those were fun things. I never pulled out an apple, but I would pull out orange and a candy cane. So you can pretend to pull those out of the stocking and just imagine that you have a big stocking and pull out a nice orange and pull out a good candy cane that we're gonna talk about again. That is, remember, one of our main themes today. So I'm gonna put the candy cane back. I'm gonna just bring two things now, one orange, and one apple. And right now I'm gonna put an orange next to my ear and I'm going to put an apple next to my other ear. So now I have two things and my ears are very, very funny with pieces of fruit next to them. So an apple is next to one ear and an orange is next to one ear. Can you imagine that you're putting something next to your ears? And in between my ears is my head. My ears, of course, are connected, but my head is between the apple and the orange. It's in between. And another way of saying in between is it's in the middle. So my head is in the middle of the apple and the orange. The apple and the orange are not 
exactly next to each other. They're next to my ears, but they're apart from each other. But now I'm going to take them away and I'm going to bring them next to each other. Now they're together. Now they are next to each other. Now, what happened? Oh my goodness. The apple is on top of my head. That's like William Tell put an apple on his head a long, long time ago. So now the apple is on my head. And if I let it go, it will fall off. So I'm going to pick up my apple just a little bit higher than on my head. It's going to be over my head. And I'm going to take the apple away now. And I'm going to take the orange and put it under my chin. So now these fruits have been going many, many different places. Over my head, under my chin, next to my ears. And I think it is very fun to, to play with fruit and use them and have them go different places. So I'm going to put them. Oh, one more thing. Forgot. Now I want to put the apple behind my head. I can do that. I'm gonna roll it actually and back up on top of my head and I'm gonna roll it down to my forehead and it's in front of my nose, it's on my nose and it's going to be in front of my nose. And now the apple, the, um, or apple is going to be put away in my tray and the orange is now going to go on top of my head, behind my head. And now it's going to go back into the tray also. So, before we are going to be characters, we've got a couple of things more to talk about. We have a game and we wanna talk about all the things. We are talking about angels and candy canes and, um, oh, we didn't talk about snowmen. Somebody could be a snowman also or a snow person. We've got Santa, we've got all everybody here. So we are at this party and we have, we could have tables at our party. We already had a little music. We could have hats, we could have horns, we could have, wow, pretend you're blowing a horn up and make a big party horn noise like they do for a lot of parties. And you could wear a hat, they're fun clothes, you could dance. We can just do so many things. And this is a month of parties. I know that you know the month. So think of the month in your mind, it begins with a D. And I know that you know it's December. And today is a special day because we are in the middle of December. It's, it's just the middle um, with 31 days, like 15 and a half days would be the middle. So we are 15, so I count that as the middle. This is our date, December 15. And I wonder if anybody has birthdays this month. It could be your birthday. You could have somebody in your family have a birthday. Think about birthdays in December. I know people who have birthdays in December. Well, could be a day, uh, New Year's Eve birthday. That's still December. Could be the beginning of December. And it could be right now. Maybe it's somebody's birthday today. Besides our birthdays, we have holidays. So many holidays. We have Kwanzaa and Kwanzaa is seven whole days and people work with harvesting and being thankful for all the good things and they light candles. All these holidays light candles. And we have another holiday, Hanukkah with eight days. So people light candles for those eight days. So maybe you celebrate Kwanzaa. Maybe you are celebrating Hanukkah right now because Kwanzaa will begin on the 20, 6th of December. Miss Audrey? Yeah? I wanted to let you know when you asked the question about birthdays, mm -hmm. a couple of people have already said that they have family members who have birthdays in December. Oh, that is cool. So we have two people that chimed in. So we will say a happy birthday to everybody that has a birthday or knows somebody. So if you have a birthday in December or know somebody, we will give you a second to share with us. Or Miss Audrey, can we ask everybody to tell us about what winter holiday they are celebrating? Sure, I just wanna mention one more holiday 
And then let's do that. Um, we have one, one more holiday and maybe some of you are going to celebrate that, which is Christmas. And that's coming very, very soon. Okay. Oh my goodness, Miss Audrey, how could I have asked you that question without getting to Christmas? I was so excited about Hanukkah and Kwanzaa that I forgot Christmas. And the moment you, you said that, in our chat window, Donnie has said Christmas. Ooh. Nadia says she's celebrating Christmas. It looks like we have quite a few people celebrating Christmas. Oh, that is good. That is one of my favorite holidays that it's coming. And it's so cool because it can be celebrated with so many, so many ways. Somebody also already said they're Santa Claus. So we could have Christmas with Santa. And we can also have Christmas with the baby Jesus and all the nativity with the wise men, the shepherds and all those wonderful people and songs. And if you have a nativity, you can touch all those things. Or if you have a Santa, you can hang it on your tree. And some people have Santa and baby Jesus and some have baby Jesus and some have Santa. So however you celebrate it, have a Merry Christmas. Does anybody know how to say Merry Christmas in another language? So some people have said no. Other people have shared that on Christmas they get presents. And now another person has said yes. I see that Jeremy has said a yes. Oh my goodness, Audrey, our chat window went so fast. I've got to scroll back <laughs> and it looks like many people like Zachary and Donnie and Jeremy and Joy have all said Merry Christmas in Spanish, which is Feliz Navidad. Oh, that's cool. And there's a cool song called Feliz Navidad. I'm sure if you hear it on the everywhere, that is a cool song. Yeah, oh, that's good. Well, I am gonna tell you how to say Merry Christmas in French. It's Joyeux Noël. And if anybody has a friend named Noël, you might, because some girls are named Noël and some boys are named Noel. Noël means Christmas. So that person might not even know that their name means Christmas in French. And joyeux means happy. So that is really cool. So Feliz Navidad. Well, I think it's time for our game. And this is a true false game. And let me, um, so you're gonna say, uh, we could decide either Y for yes or N for no. And another way to say yes is true. And that's T and F is for false. And we even have a bonus question. So I just need a second to get there because I need about five seconds to count and see if I'm ready in five. Okay, I'm ready. So please put your answers in the chat box, okay? We have five questions and one bonus question. Okay, I'm gonna say the question two times. Number one, stars live with fish under the water. Stars live with fish under the water. True or false? And Robin, if you can give us what kind of answers we get. Okay, cool. I see our answers coming in. Many of our students have used the yes or no answer. Okay. So I, oh, wait a minute. I see some people coming through. We have Nadia who says no. Donnie says yes. Cami says no. Jeremy says false. Okay. Well, the right answer is false because stars are in the sky. But there is a fish that does live under the water. Think of under and he swims in the water and that fish is called a starfish. So it's shaped just like a star, okay? So that is a cool thing to know. Number two, 
Trees like to give us oxygen and shade. Trees like to give us oxygen and shade. Ready for the answer. Okay, we have some fast answers coming through and everybody has said yes or the word true. Okay, everybody is correct. Thank you, Robin. Number three. Candles give us fresh air. Candles give us fresh air. Okay, our answers are coming through and many people say no, but Cami says yes. Okay, well, thank you. The answer is false. Candles do not give us fresh air. They give us beautiful light and also beautiful scents. So let's take a moment and think about a candle. We talked before about being a tall candle or a short, fat candle. They even have wide candles. You put your hands together in a circle like a big jar and candles can go in there. They can sometimes smell like wax, which is what they're made out of, or you can smell a blueberry candle. Mm, I'm gonna smell a little bit of a candle in my imagination before we go on to number four. And I'll give you a couple seconds to smell your candle. Mm, mine smells like a Christmas tree, like a pine tree. Oh, I'm changing my candle. Now my candle smells like a blueberry. Here we go to number four. Candy canes taste salty. Candy canes taste salty. Our answers are coming in right now. We have lots of people who say no. Joy and Cami and Jeremy and Nadia. Oh my goodness, Donnie. Everybody came through with a no. I guess nobody thinks that there are a salty candy cane out there. <laughs> I, I, I think you're right, Rob, but I think salty candy canes would really be strange. Mm, I'm gonna just pretend to taste my candy cane right now and mine tastes like gingerbread. Mm, okay, thank you. Number five. A candy cane is as big as my own cane. A candy cane is as big as my own cane. True or false? Here come your answers. Joy and Donnie and Jeremy. And Nadia, they're all saying, no, I guess it can't be true. <laughs> they are right. It would be, it would take a year to eat a candy cane that big and to carry it around. No, our candy canes are pretty small. Wait a minute, Miss Audrey. But if, could you imagine if we really did have a candy cane as big as your cane? I might <laughs> want a candy cane that big too. I know. <clears throat> then we have we would want to share it with everybody. I think it would be hard to break it. It would be really fat. Can you imagine walking around with a candy cane as our cane and everybody would look at us and say, wow, that's a candy cane cane. Okay, ready for number six. Now this is a multiple choice. That means you have to pick the right answer. Choose just one answer. So here we go. Stars have one point, three points, 99 points, 77 points, five or six points. Now that last answer is five or six points. So you can write if you wrote five, that's okay. If you write six, that's okay. I'm gonna go back and read the question again. Stars have one point, 99 points, 77 points, five or six points. And 
What's the answer? Okay. We have so many people all saying five points. Although I kind of think it would be silly if we had 99 points on a star. I think it'd be very silly. <laughs> Nobody picked my answer and everybody was so smart and picked five points. Good. Well, everyone did very well. So clap for yourselves and really be happy because I like those kinds of games. Well, now it is time for us to be actors. Okay, imagine we're going to be on a stage and the lights are bright and they're announcing us as the actress from the Canes and Candy Cane Party. And in, as we're actors, we're going to be what you said today. Um, I didn't have a Santa in this acting, but we'll think about that. And so we're gonna be all of those things that we said. So you're going to switch your imagination on really bright, bright, shine your light brightly. Okay, get ready, actors. You're going to stretch your arms high, as straight and as tall as you can. Really stretch them big. Open your fingers so they feel really, really stretched. Okay. Now, what are you? Well, you're straight and you're tall. I think you can be your cane. You can actually be your cane right now. So imagine that you're your cane and you're gonna walk lots of really cool places. And if you live in the snow places like in New York, it'll be a little tricky to, to use your cane if in the snow, but be ready. It's gonna fall softly in the snow. Or if you're in somewhere like Arizona, there's no snow. So you've got sidewalks. So your cane will make the noise that you want it to make. Okay, so be your cane and it feels good and keep being straight and keep being tall and stretch taller. And now you're a candle. Okay, now you're a big tall candle and think of your scent. Again, what's, what aroma, what fragrance do you have? Mm, I'm a lavender candle right now. Okay, now you instead, let's be, tiny candles. So bring your arms down toward your ears and get yourself small as you can in your mind. Be a really tiny candle. You could be really fat and short candle and they might have to put you in a little candle holder. You can be a jar candle. You can squeeze yourself into a jar and that's a circle. So you have to get really small and kind of wider and now you're in that jar. And now change your aroma. Mine is a peach candle right now. Okay, time to get out of that jar and grow back into the tall candle because we've got other, play, uh, other characters to be. So come back to being your tall candle, stretch straight and tall and be that candle or, or be the cane. And now we are going to be something else, we're going to make ourselves be stars, okay? And we're gonna have all these different points. Our head is one point, our arms are gonna come out just a little bit, not straight anymore, just away from our ears, apart from each other. So those are the three points, your head, your two arms, and guess what the other two points are gonna be? Because we need five, your legs. So you're gonna take your legs apart from each other also. And now you are a beautiful star and you're shining brightly for the whole world to see your light shine. Wow, so brightly. Okay, wanna maybe you wanna be a little teeny star, you can still shine, really tiny star. So you could just bring your arms in a little bit and make yourself imagine you're in a shrinking machine and now you're a little tiny star. Okay, now be a big star again. And now we're going to be angels. You're gonna bring your arms to your shoulders. Stretch them big. And now I want you to take, just to, to help you and get 
get stronger and straighter for your wings to be strong. Take your left hand, bring it to your right shoulder and you make sure your arm is straight out there and it's a strong wing. Mine is very strong. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with my other arm. My arms are stretched out again to the sides and I'm bringing my right arm and touching my left shoulder and checking out that arm. Yeah, it's straight. So now I've got my, my wings. Now I'm, a, now I'm an angel and I'm flying. I'm gonna fly way up. I'm gonna fly out the window, fly to my door and out the window and just fly to the sky. And you can fly to the sky too. You can fly. Maybe you want to go to a tree before you go to the sky and visit a tree. So you can fly to the tall tree. And you can just sit in that tree if you want to. Maybe it's a nice Christmas tree. Maybe it's a big oak tree or an apple tree. But you can be there for a little while and rest. When you're ready to go again, you fly with your wings. And if you want your wings to go really super fast, move them up and down really super fast. or they can be slow up and down, but big up and downs. Big up, big down. You can go really, really super strong. And then try little, little movements and see how you fly. Maybe you just wanna fly a little bit. And maybe you're a little angel and a new angel and your wings have to get strong and you're growing. So you can just keep on flying and soaring anywhere you wanna go. Keep on going, go anywhere you want. You can come and bring presents to anybody across the world. You could be Santa's helpers and take presents to, to people. Okay, so now we've been angels and we still need to be a tree. So get your wings, let them rest a little bit, shake out your arms. My arms are tired, my wings are tired but now I can be a tree and you can be a tree too. Let's be, it can be a tall tree again. And this time our arms again are our principal workers here. The branches are growing. They can grow from our shoulders way up high to the sky and out to the side if you want, apart from your ears. One can go in front of you. One can go behind you. That's a big stretch but that shows all your branches are growing different places. And it's really nice to be a tree. And just remember all those great things that trees do for us, like give us oxygen and, and shade and rest. Well, I think we still need to be a Santa because somebody is Santa today. So let's be Santa. So this time, Bring your arms down and you're Santa. Think of yourself in a Santa suit with all the things that he wears. He's gotta be warm because he's, he's gonna be flying everywhere. Put on gloves, pretend to put on warm gloves and boots, uh, boots before gloves, a warm hat, warm scarf, something that covers your face so you're super warm because you're gonna be, you're in that sleigh and Got to get the reindeer ready, get them all hitched up. And remember, there are eight reindeer and there's Rudolph also with the song. So we got all these wonderful reindeer ready to go. And you're the Santa. So you tell the reindeer when to go. And one, two, three, blast off. We're flying in the air and we're just going everywhere in this magical, magical place from the North Pole. And we're flying and flying and we stop at every place we can. And that big bag of toys is in the sleigh. And Santa, you get out and now you go down a chimney, just swoosh down that chimney and bring presents to kids. And if there's no chimney, because a lot of places don't have a chimney for kids, there's a way to get through there somehow. And Santa figures a way, a magic way, through a door, through a window, and deliver all the presents for Christmas. And now you fly back home and take your rest.
because you worked really hard. So we went everywhere today. We went all kinds of places. And that's what acting is all about, to pretend, to be something, to be someone. And I love it. And I'm glad you were all with me to do that. So we still have some time to look at some pipe cleaners. And I have to find my pipe cleaners. I believe that I have right here two pipe cleaners, one red, one white, and these are going to be twisted together. And all I have to do, I love these, they feel so, so soft. They're just super soft and they bend so easily and they twist easily and the ends are sharp. So I'm going to just bend my candy cane down. It has a curve and it's, there's my candy cane. It is cool. Now with pipe cleaners, you can do all kinds of things. You can make trees with them. You can just, you know, keep using your imaginations and twist them. You can take a lot of them. You can get a whole big package of all different colors of pipe cleaners and we can use them all the time. So there's our candy cane. Now I have green. And I'm gonna try to make a tree. I'm just gonna play a little bit and bend my branches. The top are gonna to be some branches and I can get fancier. And I'm gonna take, actually fold this in half so I get more branches. It's gonna be a little short tree. So I got branches going all different ways. You can twist them, you can hang ornaments on these. And I'm going to plant my tree. Just imagine that this was a seed and it grew into a tree. And my branches are growing high. They're kind of twisty branches. There's a little branch there and three tall branches. So I've got to work a lot in this tree. However, I have some clay here. And I've been working with this clay to get it soft. And it's not really as soft as I would like. But when you play with clay, you just got to keep playing with it a lot, a lot and holding your hands and get it soft. If you have Play-Doh, which is what I plan to have next time, that gets softer really fast. But I've got a big ball of clay. And this happens to be white clay. So it can later we could make it into a tree with snow on it. But right now, I'm going to plant my tree. I'm just taking my ball and making it flat and I'm going to make a little hole in here and I plant my pipe cleaner tree and it's a little tree remember it's growing it's got a lot of work to do some of the branches need oops it didn't stay well I think you guys get the idea but you make it maybe a bigger hole and I'll try it once more. Thank you for being patient. Okay. So my tree is going to grow. I'm going to put it away. I'm going to make my dough flat as a pancake. But it's not going to be a pancake. It's going to be something else. It is going to be something that I have right here. I'll show you what this is. This is a cookie cutter. I love to make real cookies. And one, one side of the cookie cutter is sharper, so it can cut into the, flat, into the dough. And again, dough is a lot easier to use than this clay. But I can put my candy cane right there and press it out and to get a candy cane cookie. And it's got work to do and the candy cane is coming out. Now this candy cane needs to have food coloring on it because it's just white. So um, you could frost it with red and 
Next time I'm gonna have some Play-Doh that has red and white with it. And my candy cane just kind of fell apart. But it's really fun. You can just pop it out of there and make anything you want. You can make a star. I have a star cookie cutter too. Here's my star. And that requires more rolling and more shaping and getting a bigger piece of clay. But here's, I love this star and it's got, let me see, make sure it has five points. One, two, three, four, and five. So put the star and the candy cane away, but we know we can do those. But I want to think about pipe cleaners again, okay? Because you can make something and actually put it on your cane and make a charm. You could, you could make clay charms. You can get some special clay and the clay or, or the Play-Doh. And when it gets hard, it dries. And if you have a little hole in that, you can make a little charm and hang it on your cane. Well, I've been playing with this pipe cleaner. And I'm gonna try to twist this and see if I can get something pretty decent for my cane. I love twisting pipe cleaners. I like bending them. I like tying them in knots and make circles. And I think I'm just gonna make a circle with this right now and I twisted it. And I'm gonna pick up my cane and connect this to my cane. And then every time I pick up my cane, I'm gonna feel my charm on here, my pipe cleaner charm. So let me, let me, excuse me a moment. Let me just get my cane. And while Audrey does that, how many of you have ever made or would like to make a charm for your cane? So Audrey is taking her super cool circle one that she made and she's putting it on her cane. But while we wait, who here has ever made a charm for their cane? If you have, go ahead and tell us in our chat. Now, Donnie doesn't have a cane, but Nadia has. Ah. The great thing about a charm is you could also have a bracelet or a, you could even make a bookmark. So, oh, look at this. Zachary does not have a cane, but his friend has a bead charm on her cane. Oh. Very cool. Oh, I think Audrey's ready for her grand reveal. Yes, here it is. It's on and it's right, I think you can see it. And there it is, hanging on my cane. And I can work on that and make a bigger charm. I like the beaded idea, the be beads are fun. And I like the clay idea. I don't, just don't know, some of the clay might not, if it fell, it could break. I don't, I think you'd have to play with that, but it's, it's fun to try. And this then, you know that that's your cane. That's not somebody else's cane. It's your very own cane, your very own charm. Okay, I'm gonna put my cane down and let's see what else we can do. We did a lot already with pipe cleaners. We did a lot with clay. We did a lot with our game. We did our holidays. Hmm, well. Does anybody, can somebody tell me a song that you might sing at your holiday? And maybe I can sing a little bit of that song. Does anybody have a song they know that they oh, want to Oh, holiday songs are so fun. They are so fun to do. So we'll wait and see. Oh my goodness. Audrey, I don't know if you know all the words to this, but already Donnie, has said Feliz Navidad, but Nadia <laughs> has said Deck the Halls. Oh. So those are fun suggestions. And what's fun about Deck the Halls is we say something a lot. We say fa la 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 la, a whole lot. And Feliz Navidad, we say Feliz Navidad a lot. Okay, so those are two songs. Um, hmm. Which one should I try? I'm gonna try. You'll see, you can guess in your mind which one I'm gonna try. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 la. 
Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. Troll the ancient Yuletide carol. Fa la 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 la. And I think fa la 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 is one of my favorite parts of that song. And I wonder if anybody knows what the word carol means. Troll the ancient, lots of big words here, Yuletide carol, but the song is fun. Anybody in the chat box tell us what is a carol? We'll wait for our answers to come through. I don't know, maybe I know what that is. Hmm, what could it be? Oh, well, we have lots of fun suggestions. I just want to let you know that Jeremy has also suggested Jingle Bell Rock. Oh! Now, to go back and answer your question, what is a carol? Cammy, Zach, and Donnie have all said it's a song. Yeah, they are correct. They are absolutely correct. Good. Jingle Bell Rock, I thought they were going to say Jingle Bells, but Jingle Bell Rock is different than Jingle Bell. Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell Rock. Let's see, do I remember it anymore? Jingle Bell Swing and Jingle Bell Sing. I'm probably making up the words. I think I better stop there because you're probably laughing. And it's okay to make up words sometimes when you don't know the song. Um, okay. I'd like to know if anybody has any kind of special story or special memory about their holiday celebration. Ooh, a special memory could be super fun. You could even make a experience book about that. Maybe you could save the ribbon or some pine needles and make it into a book. Oh, here comes some answers. So Donnie has shared the night before Christmas. Uh -huh. Oh, and Zach says that going to look at Christmas lights and eating cookies in the car is one of his favorite memories. And that makes me think, Audrey, we talked about those cookie cutters and uh -huh. cookies maybe we should talk about favorite holiday cookies. Uh, why don't you tell me your favorite holiday cookie, Robin? Oh my goodness. Chocolate chip is always my oh. favorite cookie, no matter what. But I do love all of the fun cookies that come out in this Christmas holiday season. So students, I want you to follow Donnie's example and share with us your favorite Christmas cookie. Not just a cookie, but is there a special one? And I bet we could use the candy cane cutter or the star cutter and we could make sugar cookies. Oh yeah, those are good. Donnie has already shared that chocolate chip is his favorite, but Zach says he likes fudge. Oh my goodness. I think we're going to reach my most delicious part of our conversation. We get to talk about food. Oh, you no, know, it's so good. I'm going to show you one cookie that is a favorite of mine that I have enjoyed. I have two, maybe I have three favorites because chocolate chips are so good and the cutout sugar cookies are really, really good. And I make a really good cream cheese cookie with raspberry preserves or strawberry preserves. But this is another cookie and I'm gonna hold up my dough again and I'm gonna use my hand to do something to this dough. And it's the name of a cookie. I'm gonna use a part of my hand. And I wonder if anybody knows this cookie. You know what, Audrey, we can't quite see it just yet. Okay. It's coming, oh, wait a minute. It's a small little white ball. Is that what we're seeing? Yes, but now I'm changing it and making now it flat. Flattening out this little one. Okay, but now I'm gonna do something special with my finger and it has to be a specific finger. Does anybody know which finger? Wait a minute, I see you pushing your thumb 
Oh, you gave it away. You got it. Oh, you're okay. putting your thumb into the middle of the cookie. Yes, it's called a thumbprint cookie. And they're really, really yummy. You can look it up on the internet. So that is a really fun cookie because everybody can put their own thumbprints in their cookie and they'll, you'll know it's your thumb in there, <laughs> your, your thumbprint. Well, Audrey, now we have chocolate chip. We have mentioned your thumbprint cookie, but I also want to tell you that Cammie has shared that sugar cookies are her favorite. Jeremy is also a fudge lover. And Nadia says her favorite is a pumpkin sugar cookie. Oh, wow. We have more cookies than I can even think about eating. Well, wait a minute. We were talking about peppermint and candy canes. Do you think you could use peppermint or candy canes in a cookie? I think you can. But what I'd have, what we'd have to do something special with the candy cane. I would take that whole candy cane and I would break it into little tiny pieces. And I would put that in my cookie dough or on the cookie itself, put little pieces of cookie on top of the cookie, I'm sorry, pieces of candy cane on top of the cookie and press them in. What do you well, think of that? I'm glad you said that because Nadia says that she makes peppermint and spearmint ornaments. Oh. oh, now we can use food to make cookies, but now we can use this to make ornaments. Wow. I wonder if anybody's ever made a cinnamon ornament where you mix cinnamon and glue and you use a cookie cutter. If you've ever made a cinnamon ornament or maybe a peppermint ornament go ahead and tell us do you know also that there is a, an ornament you can make with an orange and you take cloves cloves smell really good and you put cloves press the cloves into the orange and it smells really good for a long 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 time Oh, wait a minute. Nadia has also shared she does it with cinnamon and applesauce. Oh, that's how she makes her cinnamon ornaments. So we have quite a few good ideas, Audrey. We can make one with orange and cloves. We can make one with peppermint and we can make one with cinnamon and applesauce. That well, might that... need to be a whole other session. I can't believe we're <laughs> almost out of time. Oh my goodness. We could also make some with chocolate. Oh, a chocolate ornament is my favorite. How much fun. Would anybody else like to make a chocolate ornament? If you do, you can share a why in the chat. Oh, we already see an answer coming through that Nadia would like to. And Zachary says chocolate and peppermint. And oh. Jeremy, oh my goodness. So Audrey, before we end, can you please tell us how can we make a chocolate ornament? Okay. Well, you can get white chocolate, which is really, really good. And it, I don't like the taste of white chocolate as much as other chocolates, but it looks pretty. And you can take that chocolate and melt it with some peppermint. And then all you do is put it on a tray and then let it refrigerate and break it into pieces. And it's called bark, like the bark of a tree. It's called chocolate bark. I will look up the recipe and find out exactly the exact amount, but it's a good chocolate. It's really, really super good. I would like to do it with dark chocolate because that's my favorite chocolate but I think it looks really cool when it's white because of it looks like a, with a red and white Christmas colors because you've got the red from the peppermint or a green. So I think that's cool. Oh, I agree. Peppermint bark, you can put your candy canes on top are so yummy. So you know what, Audrey? 
I think as we end our session, we should give some expanded core homework and challenge everybody to make their own peppermint bark with white chocolate or dark chocolate. Or I, both. I love that idea. I love the chocolate idea. And there's one thing that I forgot to mention. Um, all, everybody is getting a packet of different drawings to make. You know that drawings are one of my favorite things to do. And I have made here a striped candy cane braille drawing. And I have another one. I have, this one was my favorite to make, double candy canes. And it's quite a challenge, but it's very, very fun. And there's an angel and there's a bell and a tree and you can color them. And after you have a piece of plain braille paper or construction paper in your Perkins, and you just make all these different dots, it's not words, but it's an actual picture that you can feel and everybody with vision can see what you made and you can color it. And I just think that those are really cool things. Not the same as having a, a good ornament, I like a peppermint bark to eat, but it's a lot of fun and it's good homework too. So if anybody is, is a braille student, please think of making braille drawings as part of your homework and have fun with them. Um, somebody can read you the instructions and that angel takes a long time to do. So you can do a little bit every day, but you'll get an angel where there was nothing on the paper before. And you know what? Donnie wrote that he can't read Braille, but that's okay because you can make your own tactile picture of candy canes or an angel. What's great about the holidays is you can make uh, activities in Braille or with real objects or with pictures. So use whatever you want to make the picture you want to make. Thanks so much, Audrey. And that is true. And you know, think about the pipe, pipe cleaners. You can glue those or put tape on those on paper and make your pipe cleaner design on paper and make your, make your picture and just keep creating with more and more pipe cleaners or wiki sticks. Well, I have had so much fun today and I want to thank everybody for coming to our party and um, I hope to see you again and have a happy celebration of anything you celebrate. This was fabulous, Audrey. I could just picture in my mind everyone who's with us being either a star or a candy cane or a tree. That was wonderful. I want to say thank you all for a fabulous year. We look forward to seeing you in 2021. We have two more academies this week. Tomorrow is What Are Blocker Cars? And Thursday is Me and My Senses. So we hope you join us again. Audrey, thank you so much. And I hope you have Merry Holidays. Thank you too, very much.